On today's story, we're going to talk about the Phil Chris Knights football team and how they've improved this season compared to the last couple years. Eddie Lorton, what's the differences between this year and last year? Uh, I'd say the progression of the older guys. Um, we're just bigger, faster, stronger. We just love to compete. I'm ready for this week, so yeah. Yes, sir. What does it mean to you to be a Phil Crest captain? I think for me, it's just a tradition. I've been here my whole life going to Phil Crest, been playing football, and being a captain, I've seen all the good players go through Phil Crest, and it's just been it's been a blessing to see them play, and it's an opportunity to be a captain. So, mm-hmm. how has your role in these past couple seasons changed? Uh, my freshman year, I played every position on offense. I mean, I've played every skill position on offense, both sides of the ball. But this year, mainly running back and on defense, free safety. So that means we just have enough guys and we uh, we can fill all positions. So it's good. How do you help the team prepare during the week? Uh, on the scout team, I try to give my best looks. I try to make sure that um, if they see anything on Friday, that they'll be prepared for it. So I'm really just trying my best to push that and push myself to make sure that they're ready for the Friday game. Thank you, Cody. Of course. How has the offense changed? Uh, for like before this year, it was just more of a spread offense where we pass the ball a lot and then try to gain yards with our running back. But this year, we're more of a power team where we're just going to run the ball, sweeps, and but like when sometimes we'll take those deep shots, but most of the time it's just straight run and gun. How do you feel about this being your last year of football? Uh, makes me nervous because I've been playing football since I was in second grade, and we're gonna leave. I'm gonna leave my boys and stuff, but I'm also excited. You know, don't have to deal with school anymore. But I really will miss sports in high school. Okay. What have you done to improve? Uh, I did track for two seasons. Like, started doing it my sophomore year to improve my speed during for football and then the camps during the summer for football has improved my skill a lot because I don't have to focus on plays and like defensive reads rather than just focusing on my craft. Uh, my work ethic uh, has improved a lot and then my leadership I feel like has helped like me improve and like keeping my energy up and stuff like that. Yeah. I obviously love football. You know, it's been my life for a long time. I went here, grew up here, grew up down the street, and uh, feel Crest is home. You know, anyway, I can coach football is definitely be a career choice for me, and the opportunity to come back to Field Crest is a no-brainer. So it's good to be back here. What do you think has changed for the team since you started coaching? I think the mentality of it. I think the overall culture. Um, there's a toughness with Field Crest football that we've had in the past. I think we got here was kind of a reboot of the system, but I think you know the commitment overall, getting better, and also you know taking coaching. I think it's. Not easy for someone to mess up, have someone correct them, and then take that and move forward with it. So I think just overall the attitude for Chris football has been tremendous since we've been rolling in the last two years. What goals do you have for the team? Um, I know it's cliche to say this, but you just want to compete. I think, you know, it's, it's any game it's easy, you know, if you're not going well, it's not going to way to pack it in and hope for the next week. But I think, you know, with seniors like you and Joe behind the camera here, you know, it's you have one year of football left in your life, and hopefully, you know, if you go to the next level and play athletics. But I think for you guys just to you know, play every play that's your last, you don't know when to be your last, and I think once you guys make sure that goes in the younger guys, you know, again, it's, every rep could be your last rep of football. So, again, just keep improving, keep fighting, and, you know, have a ton of fun. And I, never, I never talk never about wins and losses since I've been here. I never will. It's not about that. It's about growing the growing community, growing in the school, and being leaders. So, crush, keep attacking, keep chopping, and get after it. Thank you. And that's your story on the Phil Chris Knights football team.